What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alfexi and welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today of course it is time once again for some brand new Bee Swarm Simulator. And today I bring you good news. There is a brand new little content update that has been added into the main game as of right this moment. And there is also a brand new code to do at the same time. So yeah, welcome back everyone. I hope you guys and girls are amazing. Three, two, one, claim the hive. How are we all doing? I hope you guys are great. It's, it's content update day. Yeah. So yeah, this is not like a huge, huge thing, but it is really, really cool. And it is all to do with the brown bear <laughs> and some of the changes that Onnit has made to the brown bear over the past couple of days. So this is live. This is not the test realm. This is the main game. And I'll be honest, there has been some low key Onnit trolling. It's been a little while since he's unintentionally trolled us, but it's happened over the past 24 hours. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. So yeah, just before we get started here, basically uh, this new content was added into the test realm yesterday. So I had a bunch of tweets from people letting me know about it. I made that video. I broke down all of the new content and it was a little bit late in the day when I finished that video. So I was kind of like, okay, it's a little bit late. I'll just like save this video for literally this morning. I'll put that out and then, you know, people can come and check out the, the stuff in the test realm. And uh, yeah, literally I've sat down at my computer like 15 minutes ago. I have my tea. It's the morning. Oh, lovely tea. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I go and check it and it's already added to the main game. So <laughs> that video is on my channel. It's, it's unlisted. I didn't even put it live yet, but... Basically, it was showing you the stuff which we're going to look at today. But the good news is this time around, it's actually in the main game. And you guys can play it right this very second. Should we do it? Oh, <laughs> and before we do that, we have to talk about the likes on last episode. We have to talk about them. So I did see them live in that episode, which never was. Um, I'll check them again, actually. They've probably gone up, gone up like a little bit more. But hang on, wait, 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 wait. 9,700 likes. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, this is once again, like, a record broken on a record broken on a record broken on a record broken. Four videos in a row. You guys are incredible. <laughs> Thank you so much. Like, that's, um, that's amazing. It's just amazing. Um, yeah, over 9,000, just under 10,000 incredible yeah just thank you so much thank you so much for being here that's the main thing like thank you so much incredible there's over like 1200 comments as well so never sleep on the comments the comments are also incredible but yeah i just wanted to say thank you uh the support has been unreal and you are the reason why so thank you so much um can we try and go for like 5,000 likes on this episode maybe for some like brown bear new quest line hype that would be really cool but yeah let's try and go for 5,000 we're stepping it up like, you guys are too good. <laughs> We're going to have to step this up a little bit. But hey, yeah, 5,000. That would be incredible. Thank you. Anyway, 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 let's get stuck into today's bits and pieces. This is the new Brown Bear update. So I'm going to try and cover the stuff that I did in the previous episode and just kind of talk you through it. But now when you go to the Brown Bear, he has a few different things. So you'll probably notice here right now that there is a Brown Bear Top Helpers and this is a brand new leaderboard to count the brown bear quest that people are doing. So you can see here that pretty much all of it just says two right now. And this is quite simply because this has been out for like, I don't know, like an hour or two or something like that. Um, and yeah, there's an hour cooldown on these brand new quests. So this is what Onnit said yesterday about this new quest line. He says here, Brown Bear has been re uh, reworked to have indefinitely scaling quests and hard-coded prizes and a leaderboard. Please let me know if you run into problems with him. So yeah, this is a message from when it was in the test realm, literally yesterday. Um, but essentially, Brown Bear's questline has been completely revamped and reset. And it is now so much better because it gives not only like intermediate rewards, but it also gives you hard coded rewards at certain levels, which are really, really good. 
So I think this is really nice. Brown Bear, I guess, is one of those sort of forgotten NPCs, and he doesn't really do a whole lot other than like a quest every four hours or so. Well, now he has his own indefinitely scaling quest line, uh, and it's a respawn of once every hour, a little bit like Black Bear. And uh, yeah, there are some really, really good prizes here. So I think first, before we talk about the prizes, let's actually talk to him and let's see what's cracking here. <laughs> Brown Bear has a German accent in my voice, in my, in my series, by the way. So, apologies in advance. Oh, hey there, bud. Ready to get started? The road to an awesome hive is paved in the royal jelly. If you want to unlock epic, legendary, and even mythic bees, you'll need royal jelly for sure. I've got plenty to share. And not royal jelly. What? Oh, he, he wants to share it with us, but he also doesn't, maybe? I don't know, Brown Bear, what are you talking about? Okay, after certain milestones, I'll give you all sorts of cool rewards, including gold, diamond, and even mythic eggs. But those will come way down the road. For now, let's keep it simple. Check the quest menu, uh, okay, and report back when you've collected all the pollen. There we go. So, as I kind of mentioned, there are these hard-coded prizes, and as I also mentioned, this is like an indefinitely scaling system. So, from what I can tell so far, the main prizes in this are when you do 25 quests, you get a free silver egg. Now, we're going to see the countdown in just a second because we're going to go and do like a quest. Uh, the second prize, I think at 50, is a gold egg. At 75 is a diamond egg. At 100 is a mythic egg. At 300 is a brand new brown bear cub buddy. A brown bear cub buddy at 300. 300 is going to take a long time. And at 750, you get a star treat as a reward. So a little bit more on that later on. I think I've actually got a breakdown list somewhere here. I'll check in just a second. But yeah, these are really, really cool rewards. And the first quest here we've got is called Brown Bear Blue Clove Spied. <laughs> Genius naming. Okay, so yeah, this one's going to be really, really simple. But my backpack's full. Fantastic. Bear with. Lads. Lads. Lads and ladies, this is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. I, I just checked Twitter just to see what people were saying. And there was a message here from Beast Worm Sim Leaks, of course. So this seems like it's something that on it has said. Um, oh my goodness. Right, is everyone sitting down? This is huge news. <laughs> so this is like a summary of the event from what I've just said. It says, Brown Bear's new quest line has a one hour cooldown and scales in difficulty every time one is completed. Uh, he rewards prizes at certain milestones, including silver at 25, gold at 50, diamond 75, mythic 100. Uh, he also rewards stuff like micro converters, field dice, jelly beans, jelly beans. Yes! <laughs> One jelly bean every three quests. And some crafting ingredients. The amount of honey and royal jellies he rewards also scales with difficulty. Oh, thank goodness. Jelly beans! I'm so happy! Yes! A single jelly bean! You, you, you have no idea how exciting that is. <laughs> so yeah, there is also the cub buddy at 300. The brown bear cub buddy, uh, which is obviously going to be really, really difficult to get. And then there's star treats at 750. And then every 500 after that, you'll get another star treat. But chances are you won't, probably won't see people get like past like a thousand, I don't think. I think it's going to get really, really difficult. Anyway, let's do this little quest here. Let's see what brown bear has to, uh, has to say. So yeah, let's go and pop this blue. Uh, let's go and do the old uh, spider field here. Let's go and power that out. Boom. Uh, let's go and jump into the clover and then let's go and hand in. So as I mentioned, there is a one hour cooldown. So the reality is you're going to have to spend 25 hours in game or you're going to have to wait 25 hours to get that first silver egg and so forth going through, you know, like the gold is 50 hours and then the diamond is 75 hours and then, you know, 100 hours or whatever. So this is very much a background style quest. This is not something that you can just pump out all in one go. You're going to have to take your time but it is something to do in the background and the rewards are really nice. So I think it's really, really good. Anyway, let's go and hand back in. Here we go. Oh, great job, buddy. Here's some royal jelly. You completed one of my quests so far. Complete four more and I'll give you three field dice. And if you complete 24 more, I'll give you a silver egg. I haven't quite finished preparing the next quest for you. Uh, check back with me in 45 minutes and we'll be ready to roll. Oh, that's great. So not only does Brown Bear give you like intermediate rewards, you know, like field dice, for example, and tells you when those field dice will come. He also lets you know when the big milestones are coming. So 24 more quests for the silver. And he also gives you a nice little countdown. So you know when the quest is next available. 
What a cool system. I love it. See, as I mentioned, this is very much a background style quest situation. Um, but it's so much nicer to have these background style quests than nothing at all. I think Brown Bear's quest line were pretty like basic. You just went back and forth collecting the same amount of pollen and they are pretty basic. So to have like a better, oh geez, hello. To have like a better NPC with better rewards, better everything, and that's in the game right now, I think it's an amazing little update. So yeah, GG on it, I love it. We've also got a code to do. It's a dandelion field code. You guys ready? Okie dokie. So we're gonna go and do the code now. Though this is a very limited time code. This is only around for today. So hopefully you guys can power this out before it's gone. I did also notice uh, I went to the cub console and currently there is no brown bear actually in sort of unlocked. Um, so I'm kind of guessing that because it's set to sort of such a high quest reward, it probably isn't actually in the game just yet, or it might be but not activated or something. Because the thing is, like, it's no one's going to be able to do 300 in a day. It's just physically not possible. The maximum, I guess, is 24 in a day, and no one's going to be playing 24-7, I don't think. So, um, yeah, kind of just to, just to kind of give you guys a heads up. There is talk of this brown bear cub buddy on it. has talked about it yesterday. There's no official picture of it just yet, but... Uh, that is definitely something that on it has mentioned will be coming. Uh, it's just not currently in the actual quest menus. So yeah, the, the kind of like the, the brown cub buddy is going to be one of the harder ones to get, I think. Um, but yeah, it is coming at some point, I think. So yeah, anyway, we're going to do the code. I have seven minutes left until my Mondo chick spawns. So we're going to try and do a field stack with a wind shrine boost. And you would think dandelion would be easy to pull, but... <laughs> If we don't get it with the old field boost, uh, with the old wind shrine donation, then that's okay. But yeah, look at this. Look at this. Once again, a limited time code comes out and the field boost market spikes to 18 billion for a dandelion field boost. Insane. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to try and do it. We might pay 18 billion. I think that's probably a little bit too much for the dandelion, but chances are it's just going to go up even higher. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. I'm going to go and take down my Mondo chick. I'm going to stack up everything. I'm going to try and get some more jelly beans. I've got a single jelly bean. <laughs> oh, it's sad times. Yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. Guess who just pulled a jelly bean? Guess who just pulled a single jelly bean? Yes. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. It's been so long. Hello, jelly beans. My best beast one, buddy. <laughs> I really want more jelly beans. Have you guys, have you guys noticed that yet? <laughs> right, okay, so Mondo Chick has been taken down. Um, so no debug sprout again this time, so that's a little bit strange. I still haven't like 100% worked out why that debug sprout popped up last episode. Really, really weird, but hey. Um, okay, so <laughs> how many times have we pulled Dandelion Field with Windshrine? It must have happened so many times. It must have just been, you know, we've had millions of them. What are the chances of us pulling it first time around when we actually need it? That is the question. <laughs> so, you know, the cool thing about the dandelion field, obviously, is when you actually get the wind shrine boost with it, um, the actual, like, pollen boost is pretty good. I think it's, like, 150% boost as well. Um, so it's always really, really nice to get, like, the lower field boosters, especially if there's, like, a code or, like, a wind shrine kind of like stack you can do with the market boost now but <laughs> the problem is actually pulling it that's kind of like the main thing isn't it so uh i tell you what let's just get a standard gold egg and something tells me we're not gonna get it i don't know i'm not feeling lucky today I'm just not i'm just not I've, we, me and the wind tribe we've kind of fallen out a bit um <laughs> I was probably as salty as i get in beast Swarm, like last episode <laughs> eight donations and i'll get a single single field oh what a nightmare all right okay so let's try this out to be honest like if even we don't get wins i'm just going to do the code anyway because it does have like a capacity boost uh but i would really like that extra if we could get it come on dandelion yes oh and it saves the day all right it's a it's a it's a four times so it's not the biggest but i'll take it four times wins Oh, thank goodness. Okay, yeah, check this out. See if you actually look at it. It's 160% boost on top of what we're already going to get. Yes! And it's 18 million. Oh, 18 billion I've just paid. So expensive. All right, okay, let's roll, let's roll, let's roll. Let's go and do the code. Okay, so the code is brown bear reboot. There we go. Brown bear reboot and three, two, one, boom. 
that gives us a dandelion field boost, a field capacity. It gives us a wealth clock times five as well. We have now stacked that up with the market boost and we are going to go and throw down all of our boost items and we're going to see here what we can do. So yeah, I think this could actually be pretty good. But at the same time, you do have to remember that we are now 18 billion down on our like initial investment, I guess. Uh, but yeah, let's go and pump some jelly beans. I wish I had more, but I keep saying that every single time. It just doesn't seem to happen. <laughs> All right, we're going to jump in and we're going to do this now for 15 minutes. So we're going to try as well as we can to get a really, really nice stack here. We have just under a 1 billion capacity backpack. So if we can keep hitting all of those boosts, we can keep hitting our wind shrines, and if our fuzzy bees start doing work on the field below us, hopefully we'll be able to get a pretty good boost going. We'll see what happens. Oh no, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. So yeah, just before we did this code and stuff, what I didn't do was I completely forgot to get a windy bee down to give us more cloud vials. So I only had two cloud vials left. So I have to basically just pop them one by one. So yeah, that was a bit of a mistake by me. Um, now that my winds have gone, I now have to manually pop, uh, pop the um, the cloud vials, which is which is still fine, but <laughs> I've only got two of them, which is, ah, oh, okay. Well, that's really, really annoying. Hey, <laughs> I guess it's kind of like a lesson. You learn from your mistakes in this game sometimes. And yeah, always try and check that you've got cloud vials before you do one of these codes. Um, because the cloud vials really, really help when the winds actually disappear. So unfortunately, we're going to have to do this without cloud vials, but... And jelly beans. <laughs> but hey, we've got one more left, so I'll try and do it sparingly. But yeah, the problem is when you've only got one cloud, is that it tends to go in all the weird corners. And, you know, ideally you want something in the middle of the field whenever you can. Which is why I tend to pop either two or three in one go. Um, but yeah, unfortunately we can't do that, but hey, we'll just keep rolling. Let's see what we can do. I tell you what we'll do as well, because this is a, a half an hour market boost and we've got a half an hour marshmallow bee, although we will lose our wins after 15 minutes. What we'll do is just before the 15 minutes is going to end, we will then glitter the field to keep our three times, um, because I think all of these like boosts and stuff, they're all for uh, like half an hour. So we might as well like do the majority of it. We'll do all half an hour to try and make the most of this code. Uh, so it's going to be kind of one of those field boosts that is still going to be pretty good, but it's not going to be like crazy honey within 15 minutes i think it's going to be more like measured honey over the whole like whole coast like blah. <laughs> talk <laughs> james use your words <laughs> like over the half an hour basically so yeah we normally do it just for 15 minutes but i'm going to do this one for half an hour so yeah no winds no clouds no nothing like that i'm just going to keep doing just the, the standard old grind in the field and uh yeah i'm going to try and make the most of the code it's something that i really should do more often i think um, but yeah, let's see how we do. Just as soon as we run out for the first 15, we're going to pop a glitter, extend our three times, and then use the rest of our market boost and our uh, capacity code, basically. So yeah, we're, we're like 10, 12 minutes into it right now, so I've got quite some time to go. But I'll let you guys know how we do at the very end. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Okay, it is now finished. It is all done. So yeah, I actually, I just had to record this bit again. I literally got to editing this video and then I noticed that my audio for this bit had completely disappeared. It's one of those days it is on it, trolling me unintentionally with, with multiple things. Everything's going wrong, but we did manage to finish the code. I did it for half an hour, um, but the unfortunate thing obviously was that we didn't really have many cloud vials. That was my bad. And then obviously not too many jelly beans. But we spent, let's just say 20 billion. It was 18 billion, but let's say 20 billion. And we've completed a half an hour dandelion field boost with wins, a market boost, and boost items, and the code. The moment of truth, how much do you think we made? We made, ta-da, 85 billion. 85 billion. Dude, so if we take 20 billion off that, 65 billion profit from combining all of these things up, totally worth it. And you've got to remember that this is the dandelion field. Technically one of the worst fields in the game, the smallest flowers, but these days it doesn't matter because, you know, we're stacking up our, uh, all of our boosts, we're stacking those all up together, and of course we now have the fuzzy bees, which are just transforming that field underneath us as we play and just making it much, much better. So yeah, 85 billion minus 20, 65, I will take that any day. 
And yeah, that's pretty good. I feel like we're getting very, very, very close to the 50 B mark as well. So I want to get like a little bit extra than that because I obviously want to get that B up to level 15. Um, but yeah, sometime pretty soon, I think we might actually be buying that 50th and final beehive slot, which should be very exciting. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's going to be about it for this episode here today. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you get cracking with your brown bear quest lines and make sure you do the code because it is a limited time code. It's going to be gone probably within 24 hours. Uh, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. So thank you very much for watching. It has been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. And see ya.